HbA1c is a measure of the average glucose control over the last three months. Uh, therefore, uh, it becomes important to check uh, the HbA1c every three months and follow up with uh, your diabetologist. The average blood sugar is a is a determinant of your risk of complications. So, if your average blood sugar or HbA1c is high, then your risk of developing various complications related to diabetes, like the eyes, the kidneys, the nerves, etc., uh, is high. If your HbA1c is under control, then you can be satisfied that the risk of developing complications of diabetes due to high sugars is less. This is how the HbA1c plays an important role in monitoring uh, your, glu your glycemic control uh, over the last three months and using it as an index of your risk of developing complications. Okay, the myth uh, that is going around is that if you have diabetes, you can't eat fried foods. Now, my answer to that is that um, all diabetics can partake of any food as long as they do it in moderation or in the appropriate amount. So, uh, fried foods can also be taken. Uh, however, uh, obviously you cannot take it every day. Secondly, you would like to avoid deep fried foods because they contain a different fat called trans fat and trans fat is bad for not only for your uh, uh, cholesterol but also for increasing the risk of cancer. Now, lightly fried or, or foods, uh, maybe if you have them once a week or twice a week are appropriate. Uh, the only thing to worry about is that if you have it every day, then your uh, weight can go up because a lot of oil is involved in, 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 in cooking fried foods. So I want to, in, to sum up by saying that you can have anything that you want as long as you do it in moderation.